Hello, my name is Jonathan Bisnett, and this is the sixth video in a series on BJT transistor logic circuits. And in this video, we're going to focus on the exclusive OR gate, which are these transistors over here on the left-hand side. If I turn this just a little bit, I'll put it at a little more of an angle so you kind of get a picture of it. It, uh, it really consists of six transistors to make up this circuit. And they're organized as basically uh, uh, there's an OR portion of the circuit, there's an AND portion of the circuit, and a NOT portion of the circuit, and then finally the staging or inversion portion of the circuit. So if we go over here, starting on the left hand side here, and get a little bit closer, what you'll see is we've got two transistors that are organized in type in somewhat of an OR fashion. You'll notice that both transistors have a connection on the emitter to ground. They both have 10k ohm resistors from the base to ground. They have 220 ohm resistors from the base to either positive or negative voltage depending on which we give it as inputs. And then finally what you'll see is that the collector of the first one goes and is uh, attached to the collector of the second one, this wire here. So both collectors are going to have the same uh, potential. So if either of these transistors is on, the output will be a ground signal. And the connection off the second collector, of the collector of the second circuit, uh, right here, you'll see goes over to our fifth transistor and I'll explain that a little bit more in a minute. Uh, now, if we look at the second two transistors, the third and fourth ones here, you'll see that they're, they're organized in more of an AND fashion if you've watched some of the previous videos. Uh, the first transistor has a connection from the emitter to ground. It then has the same 10k ohm resistor we used throughout going to ground. Its input on its base actually comes off of, it's this wire here, it comes off the, uh, the base of the uh, first transistor. And the reason for this is because we want the same inputs at the third and fourth transistors that we get at the first and second. So you'll notice there's also a connection off of this, off the second transistor going to the fourth transistor. So they both this set gets the same inputs as that set does. So anyway, then off of our collector, you'll notice we wrap around and we connect to the emitter of the fourth transistor. This is in essence our AND, since they have to be done in a linear fashion. Again, the same uh, 10k ohm trans uh, resistor here. And then uh, finally, the emitter uh, goes let's see, from right here goes to our fifth transistor. So we've got our OR possibility and our AND possibility. Now what we've got here in the fifth transistor is where the real magic happens. You'll notice off of the AND portion of the circuit, this one we just looked at, we've got input, we've got the signal going as input to the base of our fifth transistor, whereas if you look at this wire here, what we've got coming from our emitter is the output of the AND portion of the circuit. So in the event that both of these transistors are on, we will see a, I'm sorry, out of the, I'm sorry, out of the OR uh, portion of our circuit, in the event that both of these transistors, well, excuse me, either of these transistors is on, we will get a ground signal at the base of our fifth transistor. Then if we look at the AND portion of the circuit, in the event that both of these transistors are on, we will get a ground signal at the, at the, uh, at the base of this fifth transistor. Let me say this again because I may have confused it here when I was saying it. From the OR portion of the circuit, the, if they are, either of them is on, we will get ground potential at the emitter of the fifth transistor out of the OR portion of the circuit, if either of them is on, we will get ground, uh, I'm sorry, out of the AND portion of the circuit, if both of them are on, we will get ground at the base of this fifth transistor. Well, ground on an NPN, on the base of an NPN, 
will get you no output at all. Basically, the transistor will be off. Whereas if we don't have both of the transistors on in the AND portion of the circuit, then this this uh, 10 k ohm resistor, excuse me, this 10 k ohm resistor will take over and notice it's. I'm uh, sorry, once again, the wrong one. This 10 k ohm resistor will take over and give a positive potential to the base, and therefore cause this transistor to conduct. Finally, the output from this transistor is sent to our fifth one, which is, like we talked about in all the others, is a staging transistor, and it simply inverts the negative logic to positive logic. So you'll see that its output goes to the input of the base of this last transistor. You'll see positive going to the emitter, because it's a PNP transistor. You'll see the resistor going to the base to give it a positive potential. So only in the event that this fifth transistor outputs ground will this last transistor conduct, in which case it sends its signal, its collector is connected to the LED which is connected through ground. So in essence what we've got here is a circuit that if we go back and look here a little bit, if I take, and let's start and put both of these, both the inputs to ground, you'll notice our LED is out. If I move one of them to positive voltage, our LED comes on. If I move it back to ground, it goes out. If I move the other one to positive voltage, it comes on. If I move them both to positive voltage, it goes off. And that is, in essence, a, an exclusive OR circuit. It's only on in the event that one or the other, but not both, of the inputs are on. So now, if we go over and look at the schematic here, you will see... Uh, on the, the upper portion, you'll see, upper left-hand corner, you'll see that we have basically the same uh, it, schematic as we do for an AND circuit. And on the lower left, you'll see we have the same schematic as we do for an OR circuit. And both sets are taking the same inputs off of J2 and J3. The, where the circuit changes a little bit is what we do with them. So you'll see the output of the upper left-hand side, the AND portion, goes through a 220 ohm resistor to the base of Q4, whereas the outputs, the outputs from uh, the lower left-hand side, the OR circuit, are combined and go to the base of the emitter. That is, in essence, what allows this to do both. Uh, if one or the other is on, you will get that ground potential on the emitter, which you need on that NPN transistor. And as long as only one of them is on, uh, will you get, uh, as long as only one, but not both of them are on, will you get an output from the upper left-hand side, the AND circuit, in which case, I'm sorry, as long as neither of them are on, uh, I'm not explaining this very well. Yeah, if yeah, that's true. If, if one or the other is on, you will not get an output from the AND circuit. They both have to be on to get the output. So if only one of them is on, you will not get an output, in which case uh, transistor R9 would provide a positive potential to the base of that transistor, that NPN transistor, which would cause it to conduct. It would then provide ground through the 220 ohm resistor to the base of Q1, which is a PNP transistor. That transistor is biased to go on when its base goes to ground, in which case it would conduct through LED1 and back through uh, R3, 220 ohm resistor, back to ground. So you, in essence, have a circuit. If for some reason you turn them both on, that AND circuit in the upper left-hand corner would conduct and provide base to the ground of Q4, in which case it will be off, and Q1 will see a positive potential on its base, being a PNP transistor, it would not conduct, in the, which case LED1 would be off. So that's how that works. If you look at the bottom down here, you'll see the exclusive OR gate, in which case the outputs are only on if one or the other, in essence, in essence an exclusive situation exists where only one of the inputs is on. And that's an exclusive OR circuit. Uh, I hope you'll take a few minutes to uh, look at the other circuits and uh, get a feel for how I've done this. Thank you.
Goodbye.